Hello. Hello. So in this video, we will be creating a Java project on a simple shopping cart application. So for the application, we do not need a user interface. So all the transactions will be done through a console. Point number two, we need to create an array. Okay, so we need to create an array to hold all of our items. So I assume the items will, we are holding will have a name and a price tag to it. So that's an object. Uh, thirdly, we should be able to add or remove items from our shopping cart. And point number four is we are able to print a receipt for the total amount payable once we are done shopping. Okay, let's, let's start with the project. So I'm using IntelliJ IDEA, the ID IntelliJ. Um, it is the community edition, so yeah, it's free. Uh, I believe any IDE will do for the project as the scale of the project isn't that big. So we shouldn't need a, a special IDE for this. So anyone will do. So let us let's start by creating name. Uh, name. PSBN. Okay. Uh, followed by the main project. The shopping cart application that will be that will house our shopping cart application. I'll name this the shopping cart application class. Okay. Uh, to test it out, let's check out system dot Hello, world. Let's see if it run it's a bit little bit laggy yep yeah hello world okay so now that we have set it up we can move on to the next step okay so now that we are done with setting our two files up we can remove this now let's move back to the project outline what do we need we our goal here on this part is to create a our project outline based on our our project what we need so we'll have an easier time coding through it so starting with uh the variable we need a variable to store name and price of items after that we will need to set the constructor for the variable for variables okay moving on we will need to get name name of uh, variables and an array to keep track of our card I think the better better way to name this is uh, to keep track of items in our cart. After that, we want uh, add method add to cart method remove from cart method and print receipt so this should be our outline of course if we see the need to add more or, or remove more later on we will we will react accordingly but for now this is what we need based on the project outline Okay, let's start off by creating our variables. So, our variables, 
private string name name of item uh, we want a double or price of item okay so after that we will need a constructor so public shopping cart we'll name our constructor yeah constructor should be named like this string name and double price this dot name of item equals to name this dot price of item equals to price okay after that we need to get the name of this variable right so public void get name of item yeah, i think this will be easier uh return this the name of item hmm. what's wrong here Java language mm. maybe this oh I got it so sorry uh, so basically what happened was uh, instead of system out because I'm returning I, I can't return the void instead i have to return uh, the type of name of item which is a string we have to do the same thing for price of item get price of item return this dot price of item yep so uh, do a little bit of housekeeping okay and an array um yeah an array to keep track of item right so what do we name the array it will be an array list the whole reason we use array list is because if we add or remove array in java is fixed so we have to declare a specific space upfront but we in the case of a shopping cart we don't know how many items we want to buy at one go it can be one or it can be a hundred so an array list is something that can the most the simplest way to explain it is it can expand and contract based on the requirement we need so it will, Take in shopping cart applications. We we'll call it shopping cart. New array list shopping cart applications. What's wrong with this? We yeah, are shopping cart. Private interchange shopping cart. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So this is our array list. Um, remember when you are using array list, you need to import Java Util dot array list. The library Java dot Util dot array list. Um, in IntelliJ, they auto import it for us. I believe this, there is a setting we need to set, but uh, yeah, important reminder to add in to import java.util.array list, otherwise, you'll get an error. Now that we have set the basic variable and get the function out we can actually test it out okay, so we will use shopping cart application um, 
uh, item equals to new shopping cart application string uh, water gun and it costs fourteen ninety nine. Okay, so system dot out the print line uh this is your item item dot get name of item and this is the price of your item get price of item okay and we can run this we should get water gun and fourteen nineteen nine. yes so our getters are done our getter method and setting up our item is done as well so yeah that's good um we can now move on to adding and removing items to the array okay now let's move on to the shopping cart the add method so this the purpose of this method is to add items into our shopping cart array for us to track so public void add item string item double price okay so in this situation what happened is shopping cart so add we create new shopping cart application uh, item and price yep so after that we can have a message showing us uh, showing us that it's working and item to cart okay so before that uh we're removing this and we're removing this and we'll create an empty constructor so public shopping cart okay so this empty constructor is needed to start our project so this is what it does otherwise it will generate an error because we are not creating anything nothing is put here yet like no item is input yet so yeah that's why we need this empty constructor um after that we can create we can try adding a few items item add, it, add item tissue box cost of 499 Item add perfume was forty nine ninety five. Okay, so maybe we add one more item. Uh, let me see. Water bottle cost ten ninety nine. So now let's let's see what happens when you run this. So it will tell us uh, added tissue box to cart, added perfume to cart, and added water bottle to cart. So maybe we can check something. Print line um, item dot shopping cart the array. Uh, we'll get item number zero. We want to get the name 
of this item and we want to get the price of this item let's see what happens here tissue box and it costs 499 and if we need more verification we can run something like for um integer i equals to zero i is less than item dot shopping cart dot size the size of our array we increase it okay so we will it will be something like this and we replace it with i and i so it will put in tissue or hmm. maybe we can make it look nicer plus nothing cut get i get price of item so in this case it should be our output we should expect something like tissue box for 99 and so on let's check it out yep something like this okay so we are done with the adding method now i will be moving on to the removing method okay so the removing method is something similar okay, let's start with public for remove item string item in this case we don't need the price um a few reasons for that but mainly uh, we will just be identifying the item through their name and then removing them to removing the selected item to uh, the remove method so if we use the price there might be items with the same price and they will cause more more problems so shop uh hmm, wait is this how we no uh we need to loop through right Okay, let me try this first. Shopping cart dot remove item system dot out dot print remove I item from cart. Okay. Um so item dot remove let's see tissue box remove item tissue box after that we will look this again to see what we still have in our array remove tissue box Oh, I get it. Because um, in our shopping cart, we are using um, an instances of object. So in this case, uh, we are passing through a string and not an object instance of shopping cart application. So what we can do here is for integer i equals to zero i less than shopping cart dot size will increase count of i by one after that is shopping cart dot get i uh we need the name of the item name of the item 
make it lowercase is equals to item dot also lowercase. So if this happens, well, no. Oh no. What we can do is we can track the item position in the array. So item position item position equals to i okay so after that if we can just use the item position that's not equals to zero okay so we cannot use the number zero because an array list starts counting from zero, so we have to use negative one. So if item position does not equal to negative one, what we need to do is shopping cart dot remove the object in item position. And then what we can do is system dot out dot print line uh, removed item um from cart okay so let's see if this works okay oh, so let's, let's kind of see here okay, what we can do is just dot green dot keep to Let's see if this makes it looks better. Okay, so let me see. Every time we add, we create this line with the last add, and then we'll print our. Uh, this is just to check. This will not be our final print. Um, once we remove okay, I think we can do this so it will look better so once we remove so in an actual scenario it will just look like this so we add a tissue box to car, add a perfume to car, add a water bottle to cart after that we removed tissue box from cart and yeah our final should have perfume and water box let us try let's try a bit more uh gift cards um hundred dollar worth of gift cards and then we want to buy cheesecake Cost forty dollars, and then I decided not to buy cheesecake because I want to keep my calories low. So yeah, it works. Okay, with that we are done with adding and removing. We only have one more step, which is the printing of the receipt. And after that, we are done with this project, I believe. And once we can print the receipt, we can add in inputs. So inputs like uh, if you want to add items, instead of manually typing all of this out, we can ask the user to type in, to input one or two, one for adding item, two for removing, and three to print, uh, print receipt. So something like that. Okay, so before that, uh, now we can move on to printing our receipt. So let me see, public void, print receipt. Oh. 
we want to look so shopping card application element uh, I'm going to use an enhanced for loop it's the same as a normal for loop just that instead of tapping all of this i equal to zero i left the shopping cart size i plus plus um, all i have to type with this it will still increment for me dot out dot print line element dot get price of we we can right get price of get name of items plus element dot get price of item k dot r dash wp 30 and we can try so instead of this um we need to run item dot print receipt we should get a similar output as what we had previously. So yeah, so we added everything, added and removed. So hello Mark receipt. Thank you for shopping at Hello Mark. Perfume cost forty nine ninety five. The water bottle cost ten ninety nine, and the gift card is a hundred dollar. So did we get the same three output? So we can remove this and run this. Okay, so yeah, there we have it. Now we need to create another function, another function method. We can call that method calculate total sum. And the purpose of this method is to print out the total, is to respond, is to give us the total sum of all our items that is in our card currently. Okay, so to calculate the total sum, public void total amount payable. Um, it will be double payable equals to zero point zero zero. Okay, we will do. Okay, we will need to use another enhance for loop. Okay, total payable. Plus equals to element dot get price of item. Let's test this out. System dot out dot print uh, f total cost is percentage to f percentage new line. Payable. Okay, so print receipt. We have this. If we print this out, we have total amount payable. Then we just 
system dot 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 print line um, dot repeat thirty. Oh yes. Um, let me see. Then for yep, one sixty point nine four. So there we have it. A quick calculate total stuff method. Okay, so now I think we have most of what we need um, here. We will create a small interactive, uh, I wouldn't call it UI, but a small interactive uh, chat in the console for users to add, remove, or print receipt. We will do that in the main main location here. Okay, so before we move on, I thought I should be doing some housekeeping to make our receipt look nicer than before, I guess. So one problem I found was uh, look at the gift card. If it's perfect, uh, whole numbers. So item dot add item. Uh, what kind of movie and I What kind of thing do I buy? Lamp. It costs twenty dollars. So in a normal receipt, you get something like twenty zero zero. But in this case, we're gonna get twenty. Okay. Not only that, um, we want to push the price to one corner and the item to the left side, as most of the receipt that we have is is shown like that. So to do that, we will come here. Okay. So we will stream or method. Uh, Name is equals to string dot format um, percentage dash twenty. This number is adjustable. It depends on the width you want. So element dot get name of item and string format the price equals to string. Percentage to add element of get price of item, and in this case, all we need to do is formatted name plus formatted price. We should see something along the line. Yep. Look, uh, they're all in two decimal place, and maybe we can give them a little bit more space. How about 25? 22? Oh, now it looks good. Uh, we should do the same for our total cost. Let me see. For the total cost, the mm. format. Uh, oh, wait, what am I doing? Uh, stream dot format to end. Total paper and can do something like change this to line is percentage in plus format the total cost. Let's see what this gives us. Oh, 
there is something wrong. I think I know also. Yeah. Um, I think what I have to do is either text and connect total cost would be formatted text let's see if this will work Okay, it looks pretty good. Okay, yeah, I'm satisfied with this. Uh, yeah, so I think that was my basic, all the thing I need to do. Now we will be moving on to what we mentioned earlier, which is the simplified user interface. So, to make the user interface, we will start in the main class, the class where everything will happen. Uh, we want to remove, we will cancel it out for now, cancel this out. We can do something like this first. that we will create a scanner so the scanner will allow us to have input in the console After the input. Oh, and remember to import java.util.scanner otherwise the scanner class will not work and then we can print something out like this Put the following to continue. Um, we just go with the long one. This is what we have. So system the out of print your input is the input and integer input equals to in the next integer. So when we run this and let me see one okay. After that, we will test whether this input actually works. If input equals to 1, do this. Uh, if input equals to 2, we do this. If input equals to 3, we do this.
works yep and two works okay so moving on we we will need to loop this so in the scenario whereby the user repeatedly press one or two we need to continuously run this this loop so do this input is bigger than zero and input is less than four okay so right here we can easily make a uh, Item dot print receipt, and of course we want to break the loop if we print receipt because once we print receipt it means we have paid for the item. So hello my receipt. Yeah. Uh, we can start off with the adding. Okay. So how do we do this? Uh, we want to make another scanner. Item adding input equals to new scanner system input. Let me remove this first. And start out to print what item are you buying? Question mark. Okay. Make that a string. And string item equals to item adding input next. So item the item is our object. So yeah. We can copy this item Instead of a string, we will add. Oh, what's going on? Oh, we will add double and next double. Now we want to add uh, this these two items that we mentioned. Add item name and price into array. So how do we do that? Item dot add item item name and item price easy right but we will need to print out our our loop in this case is this loop to ask us to continue our input so how do we do that we can just copy this and if we do not need to declare the integer again, we just have to reset it. The same thing will goes for here, uh, for the removing part. Should just do this beforehand. Make things easier for ourselves. So to remove system dot out dot print line. What item are you removing? And uh, removing input equals to new scanner system dot input. Uh, after that, string 
item that we can uh, what do we name it item name equals to removing input dot next line after that we just have to do the same thing remove item based on name item dot remove item item name okay and we should be done here let's try let's try to follow this start off we want to add an item one uh, tissue box what an, oh they do something item how oh how much is the item okay so we'll be adding an item first tissue box it cost us four ninety nine we want to add another item so one so what item are you buying? Perfume. Cost us forty nine ninety five. We want to add another one. Water bottle. Cost us ten ninety nine. We will want to remove the tissue box now. And we want to add gift cards. It cost a hundred dollars. After that, we want to add cheesecake for forty nine and add a lamp for twenty. And last but not least, we want to remove the cheesecake. Okay, so we are, once we are done with this, we want to go for payment. Uh, hmm. did I get it right? Um. Let's, let's comment this out. One eighty, one hundred eighty dollar and ninety four cents. Let's look at this. Hundred and eighty dollar and ninety four cents. Yep, I'm correct. And let's undo and undo. And with that, we are done. I believe we are done for this project. Yeah.